es bambinita. Bambini, bambini. I'm a little chora, it's bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun ways. It's an educational TV show. Bambini world, my name is Abina, and of course, there is no dull moment when it comes to the Bambini show. Guess who we have as an exclusive guest today on our exclusive show? Of course, it is an exclusive interview with one renowned actor. He is a Ghanaian, but because of how his personality is, people think that he is somebody not a Ghanaian, but he is part of the Gollywood and also the Nollywood fame. This man is James Gardner. He is single though. But we will find out more about him very soon as we're going to talk, have a chit chat with him. Stay glued. Alright, so I can see I have my three beautiful ladies here. What's your name? I am Mina. Alright, so Mina, you want for talented kids, right? Yes, please, 2020. What's your position? Mm, I was evicted early, so yeah. But I hope life goes on, right? Life so, okay, do you have, can you guess who we have on board today? Yeah, we have James Gardner. Wow, you're very clever. So, what are your expectations? Um, he's very lovely in movies, so I expect, right now that we're about to meet him, I expect him to be that lovely, like how we see behind the screens. Have you met him before? No, please. Hmm, are you sure? Mm, yeah, this is my first but time. Being a celeb, day, I'm sure by now you're so... <laughs> You anyway. Yeah, he inspires me. He inspires me. He played the role of Daryl in Kitty's movie. Wow, you know all his movies too. Yeah, that's my favorite actually. He betrayed Kitty at the end and so that tells me not to trust my friends. Yeah. You have a moral lesson. <laughs> so let me move on to my sweetheart. Hello. What's your name? My name is Yasantua. Yasantua. That's a cute name. What are your expectations today? I expect that everything goes well. Okay, so let me move on to my beautiful lady. Yeah, what's your name? Please, I'm Anita Enim. Anita Enim, wow. You went for Instrama? Yes, please. What are your expectations for James Gardner today? Okay, actually, I've been seeing him on TV, but I haven't set my eyes on him, so I want to see him today. Oh, so you are glad to see him today? Right. <laughs> My other gentleman here. Let's move on to you. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Daniel Entry. People call me Junior Rockstar. Yeah, junior Rockstar. Call me Eugen. It's looking at you. So what are your expectations about James Gardner? I'm massively excited, waiting to see him today. Yes, the most exciting part of today, I think, will be now. Have you seen him now before? Never. Never? But you, you'll be yet to meet him, you know? Yes, I'm willing to see him. Well, I want to know your mood. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling really excited because I just woke up this morning and I heard a great news that I'm coming, I am about to see this gentleman, yes, and I'm really, really excited. Wow, I've also learned things from you, from not betraying people and all that. So my Bambini kids, join me as we enjoy the discussion with James Gardner. Hello guys, finally our anticipation is here. We have no other than our actor who is part of the Gollywood and then Nollywood. He is no other than James Gardner. So James, you're welcome, you're welcome, thank you're you, welcome. You, yeah, you, yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, so to set the ball rolling, you just have to tell us all about yourself. In fact, from childhood to now. <laughs> well, um, I am... I'm the only child, you know, between mm -hmm. my mom and dad. I have um, other siblings. Okay. But between my mom and dad, I'm, I'm the only child. Mm -hmm. And I, I grew up being a fan of radio, listening to radio, music. Some people living thought I was going to become a musician. But, oh, okay. you know, the path sort of changed. I schooled from secondary school from St. Augustine's and I went to the University of Cape Coast and then... Okay. You know, everything fell in place after that. Mm. And I've been acting for more than 10 years now. 
Wow. And yeah, give or take, yeah, more, more, more than, more than ten years. I've featured in more than eighty movies. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's been a lot. Mm -hmm. I work, you know, in Africa, outside, wherever the work takes me to. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. People just assume it's very easy, but with hard work and dedication, you get the job done, and then you become successful. Wow. So I'll just keep it short. All right. Yeah. He said he's keeping it short, but this is not a short conversation. Besides, <laughs> this is actually stars on stars. As you can see, there are faces here from Instroma, some from Talented Kids, okay. others who are ballet dancers. In fact, today we are swallowing you up already. No <laughs> All right, so to my extreme right, Tura, tell us your name and where you're from. Hey guys, so it's your girl Mina, and today I'm here with one prominent actor in the country. As you already know, there's no need for me to mention his name. Just watch out. She has done all. Oh, okay, the next. I'm Daniel Enchi. They call me generic star, if you can number one. I came from Instruma, yes. That was where my hits came from. Okay, and currently you are there. Junior Rockstar Diff number one. Oh, okay. And the second one out for Adum TV Instrument Season. That's four. what I was looking for. I told you I start on stars here. <laughs> My name is Yasan Santo Asampo. I come from Michelle Camp. Actually, my dad is a military soldier. Wow. So your dad gets us arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so then the last girl. Hi, please. I'm Annie Ming, as you all know from Instroma season four. Mm. In fact, today it's a whole melody. <laughs> as James started, we thought he would be a musician, like what he said already. So maybe he'll give us a freestyle in music. <laughs> All right, so guys, we all want to know him, right? Yeah. All right, so who will be the first person to ask him a question? Okay, then, since you're on it, start the rolling. Please, I want to ask that who inspired you into acting career? Okay. Okay, um, no one in particular. I, I won't say I got inspired by an actor's work, but now I take inspiration from actors. Before I started, Radio was my passion, you get what I mean. I had the passion to be a presenter and a TV host, you know, things like that, but not necessarily an actor, you, you get what I mean. But it's, it's, it's all in the same boat. So I'm not swaying far away from what I originally wanted to do, you know, because I did a bit of radio and I just decided to take advantage of the whole acting career, which I have become very, very passionate about because I, I surprised myself because I didn't even think that I could, you know, act act like that. I've, I've learned a lot, and I'm still learning. All right, yeah. Um, please, I want to know if acting has you being an actor has always been your dream since birth, or maybe you had other jobs in your mind. Yeah. So, first off, even when I was in uni, I I I I was on radio. Radio has been will always be my first love so acting came along the line when i went for an audition for a tv show mm. and then a friend of mine was standing behind the camera and thought that i looked good on tv mm. so she introduced me to a producer friend i went to audition i got the role and here i am <laughs> wait i saw something on the blog and the thing was like they said before you ventured into acting yeah. um you saw this white lady and because of how beautiful she is, <laughs> you decided to come on set so you'll be able to roll with these beautiful ones. I was, I was trying to be funny. I was trying to be funny <laughs> with it that when I went for the audition, there was this very beautiful lady, mm. and that even encouraged me to even hey. do the audition better. Could that be an inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it was. Let's just say it was. All right, so the next. Okay, so please, um, as you said earlier, you've been an actor for over 10 years. So within that 10 years, dreaming of being a presenter and now you're an actor. So my question is, were there challenges that you were, you were facing? There, there are always challenges in everything that you do. It's how you overcome them that makes you stronger, you know? It, it hasn't been easy. There were times where, because already when you start acting, you don't just start getting jobs. It's not like you get jobs thrown at you from left, right, center. 
you have to take your time. Everything is patience. There's no shortcut to success. You understand? Mm -hmm. So maybe in a month, you can get just one gig. Maybe mm -hmm. two months, you can just you, you can get just one gig. And that means that you're not getting a lot of money. So now to do acting, you have to quit whatever you're doing because it's very time consuming. We can start filming in the morning as early as six o'clock, okay. sometimes even earlier, and then we can close as late as two, three, four, five a.m. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah. So if you if you have a show on radio, you can't act and then do that. There has to be a perfect balance. I mean, eventually, when you become known and people respect you for what you do, you can have some authority or you can get away with certain things and find a way to fine tune your, your workspace and your timing. You get mm. what I mean? But when you're starting, it's very challenging because you have to focus on acting, you know? When you do get better and you start getting known, then you start to use your popularity, you know, to get favors, you know, okay. from work, asking for time to just quickly go and do this and come and things like that. So it's, it's, it's been challenging, but in the long run, we found a way. Mm, I yeah. can see acting is interested. <laughs> I want to know what was your favorite subject as a child? My favorite subject, I, I hated mathematics first of all. <laughs> it doesn't mean you should hate it as well. I, I am not good at math. Okay. Not, not basic math, that mm. I, I know. But not the simultaneous equations <laughs> and things like that. I, I hated it. I, I, it wasn't my favorite. Okay. I would say my favorite probably would be general science. Mm. I loved it because of the experiments and things that came with it. Biology or chemistry? Or French. <laughs> so, yeah. so, science and um, French, right? Yes, yeah, Can you speak French? French? I'm paying up. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Anita, any question? All right. Please, I want to know um, some of the things you are interested in. Okay, like my hobbies? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't get a lot of free time. But when I do get some free time, I try to sleep as much as possible. That's number one, because I get very tired. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not easy. So you really need a rest. You really need a rest. You have to give the body a chance to recover from the stress that you put it through. But apart from that, I like watching movies. Yeah, it's almost like I'm in class. I have to watch the, you know, what the professionals on the bigger stages are doing. And I like to swim. I like to play basketball when I get a chance. Okay. And maybe go on a road trip, you know, like a getaway. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you were saying, you were talking about your inspiration that you do not have a specific one. But are there some people you are looking up to in the industry? Okay, so I, I was just saying that at the beginning, because it's not something that, like how I was saying, I was influenced by um, um, Tommy and Amphorsi. Mm. I, I couldn't have said that because it's not like something that I, I set off to do okay. from the beginning. You understand? So, yeah. But as time went on, I came to understand the field and the craft better. I started watching other people doing it. And Denzel Washington is one of the people that really, you know, appeals to me because mm. I, 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 he's so, he's, he, he just, he's just full of charisma, you know, and he takes his crap very seriously. If you take whatever it is that you're doing seriously, it will take you places. You have to be a professional about it. Always be on time when it comes to work. You make sure that you have your lines and you're well prepped up for it. When you're playing a role, you have to understand the role. If I'm supposed to play, let's say, a doctor, there's a way doctors talk. There's a way doctors walk, there's a way they write, you know, you have to learn the gestures. Mm -hmm. You can't use the mannerism of a doctor to play the role of a lawyer, because okay. they're two different things. So, mm. you don't just get up and just go and delivering your lines and whatnot. There are way pastors who also, you know, react, they will talk. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but a lawyer won't do that, you understand what I mean? So, yeah. you always have to make sure that you learn a lot. And my mom has been my number one inspiration from day one Okay. in everything because I, I lost my dad when I was just like a month old. Yeah. So my mom has been the one taking care of me and my stubborn siblings <laughs> to date. And wow. I'm, I'm quite a handful. So she's made me understand that with perseverance, you don't look at your downfall. Okay. You can still do it. So her strength strengthens me. Okay. 
Wow. Yeah. That's the strength of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking of a decade ago, um, what was your reaction? How was it feeling like when you were first given your first role? Hey, I, I was... I was uncomfortable a little bit because it was new. You know, it's different when, if it's radio, nobody really sees you. You know, mm. you're just you're behind, behind the, the microphone and you're just saying whatever, <laughs> I, you know, and just you're in your own world. But when it comes to acting, it's a different ball game altogether. You know, just like we're, we're here. You have the makeup person looking at you, the director's looking at you, the continuity person looking at you, the sound man. The, it's like everyone is looking at you and you've mm. never acted before. So you don't want to mess it up. You understand? So you feel a lot of pressure on your shoulder. It wasn't really comfortable because now people that I used to watch on TV, I got a chance to act with someone like Jackie Apia. Okay. This is me, a new person. I've, I've never done this before. So, you know, I, I got a little shook up. <laughs> but eventually, I settled in. Wow. Yeah. So how long did it take for you to settle in? Uh, I, I think after the first movie, I was good to go. Because... Wow. It, w it was more like me holding my breath from the beginning mm. and then once I did one scene I realized that oh it's actually not that bad I can do this it's then normal it's like, ah, okay let's do this now <laughs> a sign of relief yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so please may I ask are you married no no no, no, no. so you don't have kids I don't I, ha I have a kid but I'm not, I'm not married oh really so you're a daddy yeah I'm a daddy, <laughs> you're a daddy. he's uh he's three years old now he's called Tyson Wow. Yeah. We want to meet him. A very stubborn boy. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's not here. He's, he's out of the country. Oh. Yeah, but when he comes around, I'll, I'll bring him on the show. So oh, we'll be happy to have him on Bambi in his show. All right, guys, more questions. So, please, how do you blend um, the parenting together with the career? It's not, it's not easy. It's not easy because the work I do is very time consuming, you know, but I try as much as possible to really engage with him when I get the chance okay. because particularly he's not in the country we talk a lot you know video calls because I, do, I always have to make sure that I stay in his face mm. you understand and when he does come around I stop everything I'm doing there's no way nothing I take time off and then I spend all the time with him we go out we go to the zoo go to the pool go to parties go for hey. drives go Sugar daddy. Ice <laughs> so that you know he, he will have fun with you and then that bond will keep going because it's priceless. You don't want to not have that kind of bond with you, with your child. Wow. Yeah. But you are the best dad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Well, like when you're a child at that time, who are the top three actors at that time? Um, hmm. When I was a child, I, I, I loved action movies. So yeah. at the time, <laughs> I think I would go for Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger would definitely be on top of the list. I think number two would be Sylvester Stallone. We we'll call him Rambo. Mm. And then um, number three would be Jean Claude Van Damme. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think, Jackie when Chance, I was a you child. Didn't, you didn't mention Jackie Chan. It wasn't really my favorite because I thought it was, it was too fixed now. It, they, they, they made it, it, it was a little too fake for me. <laughs> so I enjoyed the Van Dams and the Schwarzenegger. Oh, the okay. Yeah, they attached like an actual storyline. It's not like the Chinese where mm. you pour someone's coffee yeah. and it's like, chuk, 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 chuk. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I can fly in the air for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, people say you look like Will Smith. How true is that? Like you act like I mean, him it's, it's, it's for you to decide, but I don't think, I, well, I don't know. Really? No. Dang. I don't Guys, think so. Guys, is that not true? He has maybe maybe you, you might him. say that I act like him, mm. but not not what he did on stage at the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I don't go around. No, I don't go around slap people. Do that. Because I'm not violent. <laughs> so I'm saying no to violence. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, for his craft, I, I do respect. I do respect him for that. Um, he's a very good actor. He's phenomenal. He's fantastic at what he does, and he's been one of my my inspirations as well. Like uh, I, I watch movies of him a lot because he knows how to express himself, yeah. and that that's how acting should be done. I'm supposed to act for you to feel like I'm not acting. Okay. I'm supposed to depict like reality or actuality. Mm. So. 
if I'm able to get a reaction from you, that means I'm, I'm doing my job well. If I make you yeah. cry because I'm playing a very sad or, or an emotional scene, hmm. then I've done my job well as an actor. Wow. In fact, oh, we can no play Mace Jacket, oh boy. <laughs> Please, fill some, um, what's the name? Fill us for okay. So what is this? Like apple juice or something? <laughs> It is up here. Yeah. All right, so guys, we are still on the Bambini show, and it's a chit chat with one Renaud actor. In fact, I believe you're also enjoying that conversation as I am. So, James. <coughs> <coughs> In fact, it's a whole fantasy on the set. Most of the times, we do relate to your characters that you've been playing on the scene with your personal life. Is that true? Uh, no, no. It's, it's just a make-believe. Mm. But it just so happens that when you play a particular role for a long time, people just assume that that's your persona. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? But that's not how it works. If you're always playing a wicked um, step map, mm -hmm. people will just assume that you're wicked. You know, if, you're, if, you, play, if you always play a, a comic character, you're always, you know, being funny, even when you're being serious, people still laugh. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? So it's, it's difficult trying to, to detach yourself from the rules that you play, especially when you play it like very often. Yeah. That's why I always hope and pray that I get very different characters to play because as an actor, you're supposed to be versatile. Oh, yeah. To do all the roles or, you know, you see them as challenges thrown, thrown at you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so how does it affect you, positively or negatively? Well, for me, thankfully enough, I think I've been able to zone myself out from that playboy thing because before I used to get a lot of rooms where, you know, you are this playboy or you are always yeah. going about, you know, chasing ladies, which is not good by the way. <laughs> um, now, people have seen the serious part of me as well, so okay. I, don't really get, I, don't, I don't really get affected too much. I think the only thing is people just assume that I always have this serious look on they feel like I'm not approachable, but I'm very friendly. So whatever you see me in town, just come say hello. In fact, Bambini has said it all. As you can see, we are flowing, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so guys, more questions for James. Today is James's day. Um, please, I want to ask that. Would you like your children to act? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, first of all, I just want to put it out there. I can't stop my child from whatever career he or she chooses to pursue because there's no thing as a small job you don't look down on things what about job that you think is small people are doing that on a bigger scale yeah you get what i mean so there's no such thing as a small business you can always turn something small to something big. so big like for example i don't know if you guys know about despite yes he started selling cassettes and now look at him he's, he's one of the richest people in town so mm. you don't look down on anything if he wants to be an actor thumbs up and you will even be lucky because i'll give my love yeah. exactly so i'm sure being in the game for over 10 years you have some achievements yeah. i want to know your greatest achievement so far huh. <laughs> okay I, I i want to go a little deep this time okay i'm not going to talk about the awards i'm not going to talk about all the certificates and things that i've received that's what i'm looking at I'm looking at the achievement in terms of how I am even here. I see this as an achievement. For you to work to a certain level where you feel like you can impact knowledge to the people who are also coming up, that is an achievement to you. To be wow. seen as someone that you can learn something from. You, you get what I mean? A hero. To be seen as someone influential, that my voice matters. When something is going wrong in the country, I can add my voice. That is an achievement. Oh. So I'm not really looking at the awards and the certificates and things that come with it. Mm. These are the things that I see as achievements. Wow. Yeah. Let's give me a snap for that. <laughs> if I hear Zandor. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so please, um, what has been your greatest regret? My greatest regret? Yes. It's a lot. Are you guys, do, do we have time? Yes. Yeah. In fact, let's sit and <laughs> listen. Um, my greatest regret. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never, I've, I've never been asked this question, but that's true. Hmm. I would say hmm. 
<laughs> Another <Yes>. step. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to think through it. It's not mm. like I'm, I'm going through it, but I'm trying to see what I would say was my biggest regret. Um, maybe there are, there are things that I would say I slept on. I had some ideas that I think I should have changed and, you know, just made it come into reality. Okay. But there are things that I've slept on, and they are still good ideas. Mm. I, 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 I will do them, because I feel like if I had done them, it probably would have pushed me a little you know, higher than... But when, when you get so clamped up in work, it makes you forget about some things that you have to do. Oh. You know? So I, I postpone a lot of things personally for me. Mm. And I concentrate more on work. So I, I would say I, I, I regret not really having a lot of time for me, you know, but it, it's something I'm working on. The self love. Yes, yeah, self love. All right. Yes. Finally, we are about to go down on this interview with James Gardner. And before we say goodbye, he cannot leave the set without giving each and every one of us an advice. Okay. Yes. And something that we have to put in our knee forever. It means that you are doing the token through rise for like um a two minutes or something okay um mm. first of all i'm happy to be here i think you guys are so cool yeah and i like the questions that you actually ask questions like 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 you're hosting a show Do you oh get what yeah I mean? we know what we're up to <laughs> I, I, I like that it's been very interactive thank you first off i would say that um your books man I know you guys have heard it so many times it gets boring but that's the truth there's nothing that beats education when you get the chance you take it seriously it doesn't mean that someone who's not educated can still be a great person but if you have the opportunity you take advantage of it do you get what i mean and there's no such thing as a shortcut this is what i always say don't go looking for shortcuts because it's called a shortcut for a reason do you understand what i mean Shortcuts also come with replications. You might be lucky and a shortcut may not come with a replication. Do you get what I mean? So, just focus on whatever it is that you're doing. Everything takes time. But after that, it works out good. So, don't try leaping from one to four because two is supposed to prepare you for three and three is supposed to prepare you for four. So, you go through the stages in life so that you learn as you go on. You have to grow through it. Hmm. You don't just jump from one and go to four, not knowing what two, three looks like. Hmm. Because you could have learned something from two and three that would have helped you to even better your yeah. four. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So whatever it is that you want to do, keep your eye on the prize. You stay focused. You always believe. It's not just me saying it. If you believe that you want to be a pilot and you have it embedded in your head, you start reading about it, you take interest in it, you watch things about it, you will follow the course and eventually you will do it. Okay. So just stay through to the course all the way to the end and don't look for easy way out. It's wow. supposed to be tough. That's why it's, it's very exciting when you excel. Hmm. It's not easy. Don't ever think that it's going to be easy. I won't, hear, I, won't, I won't sit here and lie to you and tell you that, oh yeah, it's been easy or I just did it easy peasy. It's tough. That's why the, the successful people they didn't just shoot up. They had to work their way from yeah. bottom to the top. Wow. So that's that, that's what I have. To Let's say. give him a clap. Wow! In fact, I've not been to lectures today, but it looks as if I'm done with school already. <laughs> so guys, let's all be on our feet as we invite um, one of our presenters, who is Angel. She's coming so that we all say a goodbye to James. But before she says that. We've learned a lot here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, Angel. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yo, yo, give me a blow. Give me a blow, blow. <laughs> are you guys happy? Yeah. Yes, very we nice. are very yeah. happy. Did you enjoy the discussion? Yes, yeah. we did. Okay, so I would like to know what you guys learned about the discussion. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Did you enjoy the discussion? 
What did you learn? Um, he gave us some advice at the end, talking about shortcuts and the uh, journey not being easy. I really felt that. I really, really felt that. Wow, I've learned something from you too. <laughs> How about you, gentlemen? Okay, he was talking about education. Yes, and I felt within me that purposely I don't like education, car, but right now because of his advice, yes, I've had some passion for education. Wow. How about you? He said, I heard some part that he said that we should always believe in ourselves. We should never give up. That's the part I like. Actually, in life, sometimes I'm giving up, but <laughs> how about you two? Okay, I learned that we should always be committed to our books. And that means all of us have learned something very good and perfect. So when you're joining me here and with beautiful okay. smiles on our faces, just like James. <laughs> We would love to say bye-bye to Bambini fans. So let's go. Bye. bye.